guys i have an announcement lord have mercy and you guys are gonna be shocked like i'm even shocked myself tell me something it might just take the pain away guys happy new year i guess we've not seen since this year so this is me wishing you guys a prosperous new year so I didn't plan to start my new year like this in terms of the video. I plan to um I plan the first video to be this year to be the Q and A. Remember last at the tail end of last year, I put up um on my instant story for those of you that follow me on instagram asking you guys to ask me any question or anything at all you want to know about me and you guys actually hey lord have mercy i can still get over some of the questions you guys threw at me so i plan to start this new year by answering all the questions and you guys getting to know me more but i mean things change i just um did this hair day before um two nights ago yeah so i felt like maybe i should just come and show you guys how i did the hair just in case i have someone here who is a beginner or who do not know how to you know do locks just because this hair is just beginners friendly and i didn't use anything just my hair and the locks i did it at night of course two nights ago so uh, the plan wasn't to share it but later on i was like okay let me just come and show you guys maybe one or two people would take something away from this because of how easy and how you know beginners friendly it is because i know much of us are struggling to do our hair so that's just why i'm doing this video but i guess the next video is gonna be the q and a so i can answer all your questions and again guys i have an announcement lord have mercy i don't know how to you know to break this news to you guys um i've been thinking of how to say it but or how to also do it but finally i'm doing it it's something i've thought for a very long time to do but i've just been scared i'm not kind of um, found or summoned the courage to do that but now i'm starting this new year with it and you guys are gonna be shocked like i'm even shocked myself sometimes i think about it i'm like do you really want to do this so i have an announcement for you guys but first let me show you guys how i achieved this hair so come with me of course it's night <laughs> I do my hair at night these days so I have already pre-twisted my hair into two strands I basically have washed it oil um, deep conditioned and oiled it I twisted um without even parting it with comb I just use my hand to part it because I do not want that creeps um parting this is long I feel is more natural when you have your hair out grown but if I was to do this hair for someone because I want it to look neat and tight I'll have to part it and even um, braid it before I start but this is what I do for myself at home and it's easier when you want to do this hair and it's beginners friendly too you do not have to go through a lot of stress what I'm showing you in this hair is basically how to work smart and not how to work hard but you will still achieve the same result so this year 2024 let's work smart and not hard the hair i'll be using today is this expression twisted off it's already pre-fluffed and also pre-separated that is why i love love this hair because sometimes I, i'm making and when i'm doing people's hair they get the spring twist the spring twist is not pre-fluffed and that's waste time I would take it will take me about two hours to fluff it out or why i'm wrapping and fluffing so it takes much time to do this hair but when i have this it's just easy peasy because it's already pre-fluffed i do not have to waste time um fluffing it out first or separating it so this is the easiest thing 
and then the texture is just so nice for a 4a 4b or 4c hair the texture is just so so nice for that hair so you can also find this hair in the beauty store around you like i picked this in the beauty store in my area but i'll be linking it in case you don't find it i will put a link at the description box where you can find it on amazon and then i got three packs of this even though i feel like two will be enough for my hair i'm doing this hair basically at night so by the time as i'm doing it now beauty stores must have closed and i don't want a situation whereby if i run out of hair i'll have to wait till the next day to finish up this hair i must finish up this hair tonight so i had to get extra the last time i did my hair at night i ran out of hair but i had to patch up just to you know make it up i don't know when that situation is better i have more than to have less that's why i got three packs so without further ado let's start now you see this hair comes in three bundles per pack three bundles and it's just like i said it's already pre-fluffed and um it's already separated okay let me open it up so basically what i'm doing today is with nothing like i'm doing a hair without using anything no scissors no crochet nothing nothing so i'm just doing a hair with just my hair and the hair that i'm using just that i do not need any extra thing to do this hair and it's just come out as natural as it can be so it's already pre-separated into one one two three four five six so it's separated into six and i have to open two parts lay everything out and start by the time we we're finished with the two parts if it's not enough i will open up the third pack but for now let's just lay out the the two packs Having laid out the hair, I'm just gonna pack this hair up before I start. But before I start, I want to count how many strands of the twist I have. It's not really necessary for you to have the, the same number I have. Any vibe that is okay with you is fine. But I just want to go ahead and count how many I have. One, two, one, two, three. So I have 28. Let me pack this up in order not to distract me while I'm doing this. Now I'm starting from the back. So what I'm going to do is to get one of these. So I'm going to put it into a quarter, like one end being longer than the other end so this is how i'm gonna be putting it one side longer than the other that's how i'm gonna start i'm gonna put this shorter end to my own twist then i'm gonna use the longer part to twist up so i want this hair as a bob so i that's why i'm just kind of making this side shorter then this one longer so you can go around so i'll put it 
I hope you can see that. So I'll just place it with my hair, with my twist. Look at it. Then I will use the longer side. You want to hold onto it, grip onto it tightly before you begin to wrap. So I will now begin to wrap. You can wrap clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on how your hand works or depending on how you feel more comfortable wrapping but why when you start wrapping make sure is your hand is tightly onto the twist and then the shorter end then you wrap you want to make sure that you make the base tight you make the root of this tight to secure it depending on how tight you want it just make it tight enough for it to be secure once you wrap it at the root for about three to five times which is what i went this is i do not want this to be so tight so i kind of want to loosen it a bit so once you wrap it for about five times around the root then you begin to wrap down at this point you're not wrapping so tightly like you did at the root you're just flipping it over it does not have to be tight just keep wrapping wrapping going down I'm just taking it easy because I want to you all to see how I'm wrapping this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just keep wrapping, but just make sure that the the longer part covers your hair. Once your hair is covered, every other thing does not really matter. You wrap down until it has gotten to the length you want this is the length i want let me see this is the length i want i do not want it so long so once you get it to the length you want you will now match the shorter one with the longer one because you have completely covered your hair so it's just remaining the smaller piece from the short um part then you merge it with the one you were using to wrap. You can put your finger inside, just put it up, and then begin to wrap it up again. Just go up. So you keep going up, wrapping it upwards until it's, you can no longer see it. So that is what we have here. You can just roll it. So if you have this piece, the smaller piece, you can just also wrap it up, wrap it around. Just wrap it around. I'm not using glue, neither am I using scissors. So this is how I want it to be, just like this. And look at what we have so I feel it's not it's natural right the base is tight but every other part is loose this is what we have so I'm gonna show you for the second time before I continue this is so nice I've been meaning to do this now again let me show you on this side this is my my twist you see it's not tight and you see it's not neatly parted i do not want it like that i just want some outgrowing hair to make this hair look natural but you can choose to make yours tight and make the roots crisp if that's your vibe but this is my vibe so now this is what i have here so I get now I put it up into two unequal sides so look at this this is shorter like a quarter of it 
and this is longer this side I'm gonna match with my twist and this longer side I'm gonna use to twist so now I put the side to my to my twist grip onto it tightly before you begin to wrap look at that then using the longer part begin to wrap so like i said earlier however it's easier for you you can wrap anti-clockwise or clockwise but it's a more comfortable wrapping clockwise so I'm going to wrap the base first, starting with the base, you want to wrap it so tight to secure it, not so tight really because I'm not doing this so tight because I do not want any pain. So now it's tight enough, About you wrap the base about 4 to 5 times then begin to wrap it down. At this point you do not need to wrap it tight just flip it can be tight but no so tight it doesn't have to be tight tight so just keep flipping it over over until you get to your desired length i think i have to check with this one i have to check both of them i need to go further check okay now I think they are equal so at this point I'm gonna put this two together then flip them over I'm gonna flip it up let me come close look at what I did now my hair is completely covered of course my hair is not long so my hair is here there about I've wrapped it up now this is the length I want. At this point, to finish up, I'm just gonna take both of them and flip them over. I hope you can see this. Okay, now it's on focus here. So flip them over. I need to do that again so you can see. So you see how it is here then flip them up and begin to wrap upwards begin to wrap them upwards go up again up up until you can no longer feel any piece of the lock you see then you can just roll it now look what we have i think this is tight here okay let me pull it so if you have any piece around here you can just wrap it around you can use glue you can use scissors but i'm doing this without with no scissors no glue nothing nothing just my hair and expression hair so look at what we have here this is the vibe so most people would rather use um do crochet like braid it or twist it then use crochet needle to you know put it together but i do not wish to carry this hair for a long time that's why i'm just doing it this way if you want it to be tighter more secured i um recommend using the crochet needle to you know go over it like that but because i do not plan to carry this hair for long i'm not sure it to be i'll carry it for up to a month but let's see how it goes i do not just wish to carry it for a long time i will also be showing you in the future how you can do that um if you want to crochet it but i just wanted this one to be a beginner's friendly um locks for you guys just in case you've not um 
mastered how to really crochet so you can just wrap around without you know with no stress i'm just gonna go sit down and watch my shoe where i wrap it then when i come to the to the ending to the front i'll come back to you and show you how i finished it up because um i just started this hair what's the time i started this hair around um 8 8 p.m let's see how long it will take us to finish guys so this is what we have for now and the two packs are finished it's I was almost sure that the two packs were gonna be enough. <sighs> I could have sworn. But thank God I got an extra pack. So this is what we have so far. I think it's because I made it quite big. So this is what we have so far. So we just have about one two three four five six seven oh i'm tired what's the time okay this is past nine so i've done this for an hour now and then the last but not the least this is the last one so i'm gonna show you guys the last one for the very last time and then we're gonna call it a night this hair is just so seamless Oof. okay you know the drill turn it this way you have the longer side and you have the shorter part add the shorter part with the twist your hair I'm gonna add it with my hair then secure it grip it tight then begin to wrap try to wrap the base first make it tight enough wrap it so tightly let it be tight enough you do not want it to pull but not the the tightness that will give you headache if you tighten it and feel it's too tight, you can just drag it and loosen it a bit. So, wrap it about four to five times at the base, then begin to wrap down. And at this point, you do not wrap it tight. Just be flipping it through. You can go either clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on what works for you. What works for me is clockwise, so I'm flipping it through clockwise. So wrap. Wrap down. So you get to the end flip it up then begin to wrap upwards wrap upwards until it just completely gone into it then you roll it and there you go so that's what we have this is what we have so I managed to finish at 10 
So this basically took me two two hours to do. I started this hair at 8 p.m. and then at 10 I am finished. My edges were already laid from the twist. I think that's still there. But you know how we do it. I'm gonna do my makeup tomorrow, maybe before or after church, and then come back and show you how I'm popping. I'm still gonna lay my edges tomorrow, so I'm not just gonna, you know, put on the makeup this night or like, you know, lay the edges. I need to still lay this side. But for now, I'm gonna go to sleep. Because I've worked so hard. I also have some pins I got to put into the hair. There's some beads. I, I don't I don't know whether I just um pin decorative hair decorative item that I, I bought. So I'll be checking on that tomorrow to see how it will look. So I'll be showing you guys tomorrow. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow in the hair lay my edges to my makeup and then we'll see what happens and then you tell me what the hair is giving but for now guys good night i'll see you guys tomorrow bye so here is the finished look i had to add those um bead thingy those things on it so this is on Monday morning. I told you guys that I was gonna show you after church yesterday, but um, I went to church and then had other appointment. And by the time I go home, it was really late at night. So I couldn't um, film this because I always like to film with natural light. So this is me, I'm set for work after um, dressing up and doing my makeup. I just said, let me quickly show you guys how the hair turned out before I, I rush out. I don't know these days when I do my hair, I'm always showing you guys in the morning when I'm rushing to work. But this is basically how the hair came out just like I wanted, the bob like I wanted. Like this hair is just so easy. You can literally do this hair in one hour 30 minutes yes it's so cheap so beginners friendly i can carry this hair for up to a month two months depending on how i want it and this is this pattern like i told you when i was doing the hair i didn't want it to be so crisp because i just want my hair to outgrow it because i just feel it makes it look more natural but if you want yours to be neat and looking so crisp you can use comb and part your hair and of course when i do this for people because i want um a clean work i will not just do it like this but this is how i do my own how i prefer to do it how i do my hair in my house i do not want that to be neat because it just doesn't give it that luxe vibes so that is what we have and the fact that i can also pack it in a ponytail i can pack it up in a ponytail because i have this pattern here but I can also put it together and pack it in a ponytail like this. And that's how I'm going to pack it to work this morning. So this is the ponytail I'm talking about. I can pack it this way and it's still fine. It's just shower, makeup, dress up, and then freestyle. There's no stress. That's just how this hair is for me. There's no stress of trying to, you know, pack the hair. You can just do it anyhow, and it just looks so natural. It's cheap, beginners friendly. Yeah, I got this for um, a pack for $9. So I got three packs of it, and that's all that I needed. I didn't even finish the three packs. I used about two and a half pack. And you can just do it and carry it for as long as you want. This is the easiest way you can do your looks. The easiest way. You don't have to make it tight, it's just there. It does not pull. You can also make it this straight. It doesn't have to be 
it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be smooth and the smooth part of it just makes it look fake so this is how i like it it doesn't have to be so perfect just freestyle with it and then you're good to go so guys i really want you to try this hair you can take your time you don't need anything at all you can do all your work during the day and at night you get something you get the kinky braid and just do it and then you rock your hair so guys you want to tell me what you think about this hair I hope you'll be trying this hair out just try it out you never can tell don't be scared this year try new things out let fear not stop you just try with this and you see how that goes so as for the announcement I was talking about I'm finally gonna cut my hair yeah I'm finally gonna cut my hair so maybe the next video of my hair will just be me on a low cut this is no joke this is no prank but i'm doing it this year and in my in the next video um hair video i'm gonna give you all the reasons why i'm doing that <laughs> yes i'm doing it so guys i'm rushing to work so i will see you when i see you but don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video don't forget to um, comment and do not forget to share and guys please if you've not subscribed please subscribe and let's keep going i love the energy let's keep up the energy we were using last year because last year i didn't know i was gonna get even up to 200 subscribers but we are in 600 plus let's get this to 1000 guys please subscribe to my channel like comment and also share and i'll see you in my next one i love you Stay